This is the virtual tour for 54440 Eisenhower Drive in La Quinta. We're going to start by showing you a map. I'm going to show you a little bit of information about the property. And I started the video with some evening footage because the landscaping is just so beautiful with the lighting. So at the very end of the video, there's other clips of some of the hiking and biking trails. I think you'll really love it. In the description box below, you'll find links for the full flyer, which has a list of upgrades, as well as the cheat sheet, so you can skip around in this video and, and see precise, uh, precise rooms you may want to see. Enjoy! with the owner, he's gonna walk behind me and tell us about it. So it's less coarse because it means in French, the courtyards, we have three specific courtyards here at 54, 440 Eisenhower. Here we had the whole front redone and pavers, decorative pavers. We have a water feature here. We call this the hummingbird courtyard. We have a little hummingbird back here, which is a part of the doorbell, but we have hummingbirds come here and uh, take over. Yeah, there's such Which beautiful great. views from here. Had a new electric gate put in. And so all the stone work too we had done. The flag or the uh, stack stone. Yeah, the stack stone is beautiful. And I love that the pavers go down the northern side of the house as well as in the hummingbird area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going into the home. So we had the uh, floor redone as well. This is a high-end vinyl floor. Plantation shutters were installed. Um, a lot of new lighting here, new paint, crown molding, baseboards are all new. We have uh, glass doors put in there to separate the third bedroom from the living room. It turned into an office. There's our kitchen area. Lots of updates there. Oh yeah. Lighting, cupboards were upgraded. Stainless yes. everywhere. We have a pantry too, to your left there. So the pantry was also installed. And again, and I didn't say this to begin with, but I should mention this isn't a professional video. So, you know, I please excuse my shaky hand and things, but it's so nice to see if you're not here in town, it's wonderful to see the flow. So when you walk in, you know, what, what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and just take it outside and then we'll come back in. You had two sets of French doors installed. Yes, we do. With the invisible screens. Mm -hmm. Retractable screens. Here we have a cover put in. We replaced the wooden one. The wood, wooden uh, cover. Oh, so this is the aluminum so good wood. in the desert. But this oh, yeah. aluminum one is very resistant to the heat. Never, never had any problems. Very good job. Look we at had plant, plant, uh, plant, what do you call them? Plant, plant, plant holders. Oh, plant holders. <laughs> <laughs> Put in here and we have a fire pit. You can enjoy the evening out here with the fire pit. Our okay. nine man pool or pool. Cozy. Yeah, and this is, fire. it's considered a pool by standards of the county. Uh, Oh, I love this. Look at, look at this view, just from right here. And then this beautiful tree, and look at what they did here. We have an outdoor kitchen with hot water as well. So it's not just a bar sink there, but we have hot water, so you can actually cook a whole meal out here. There's a burner there. And you guys had a rotisserie as well in here. Correct. Refrigerator, look at this. So we have looks, citrus trees back here. This is a nice lemon tree, produces Hundreds of lemons every year. We have another water feature. So this is another kind of a distinctive patio mm -hmm. area off the master bedroom. Yeah, we call this the uh, first uh, citrus patio yeah. or citrus courtyard. I'm just going to show down the southern side of the house to see. They had a little exercise, but you can see how beautifully manicured every step of the way. We're going to go in 
back where we started to give you an idea. Again, I'm gonna give you a big wide shot of this gorgeous yard. And we're gonna go back into where we started with my back to the front door and continue on to look at this bedrooms and bathrooms. Everything you see is included. There is a, ma a small exclusion list, a few personal items and things that, um, okay, so we're gonna start back here, important to the family here. So, so this is bedroom three. Correct, or office. Or office. And you can see, plantation, custom paint. That ottoman makes out into a bed if you have a guest that wants to use that room. So the renters, when you had your... Makes into a twin. Okay, perfect. Okay, straight down. My back's to the front door, and bedroom three is to my right. We have our, thank goodness that the laundry is indoors. Bedroom two. And you can look at the pictures. To, oh, here we go. It's better to get a kind of a shot of it from this angle with this silly iPad. You can't see as, uh, oh, look, you can kind of see a little reflection in the bathroom there. But standard size room, I'm going to say um, yeah, a little bit sure. larger than standard, actually. That looks like it's about 12 bit, yeah. by 11, maybe. Okay, so this is the bathroom, too. Look at you guys put crown molding in the bathroom. Yep, might as well. And then this is my favorite, you guys. So I gotta do it. When you turn it on, a light comes on. So into that. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nothing. Side note, master, gorgeous. So this is where we were. This is the little patio back here, and here we go. Wow, they've done so much here. And I'm so proud to have this listing. And it's really nice to have the water closet separate from mm -hmm. the uh, basin area here. So, you know, the lady's putting her makeup on. She's not necessarily having to deal with all this. Look at frameless. Are you guys, really? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Give me a call, 760-285-3002 to view. This one will go fast. Let's go back and get a final shot. Oh boy. I'm gonna do the whole shebang here. Kitchen, pantry, garage. Could do a quick, quick thing on the garage. We don't want to make this too long. The garage has... Here we go. I just wanted to show because it's so nice that it's finished and they did do the coating on the uh, concrete as well as a nice built-in area for workshop. So what I really wanted to show you, and it's such an important part of this property, and so I came back here in the afternoon, late, and you can't see uh, the glow. In fact, if I came later, I, I think it may be too dark to film and everything might be washed out, but I wanted to give you an idea of how much extensive lighting they have here. And uh, I will continue to film as it goes dark, but just how gorgeous this place is in the evening it is so beautiful for entertaining just for being outside I mean you got the lights you got the water features fire pit look at that You're going to love this. There's actually a humming, but look at this. And when you open up, look at that. My favorite, of course, love the fire pit. 
But my favorite is the bar. The bar. I know it might sound silly, but this just has such peace and tranquility. And I had to share it with you because it just doesn't speak enough. Pictures and the video that we did earlier, it truly does not capture. And neither does this video, quite frankly, but at least you have an idea. All right, so this is the top of the cove. So beautiful up here. We just had a big brand new parking lot put in there up against the mountain. And it helps with overflow because we really have so many hikers and bikers and walkers and you name it. There's just, so down this way, it's just trail after trail. Down that way, you connect to the uh, actual concrete trail which is off the street that goes all the way from the very bottom of the cove clear up here. And then starting here, you have all of your hiking and biking trails, which go on and on and on. And then we have our new parking lot here, and we're just about a block and a half from Eisenhower House. So this is the western side. This was out west where I was pointing. So on the cove, we have the west side of the cove and the east side of the cove. And here um, is the top of that concrete trail I was telling you about that goes from the very bottom. You can also go from the top down. And here is our lovely Cove Oasis trails. They just put this together recently, this little, um, I don't know, map and official entry of, yo, you can see the map there underneath that beautiful tree. It's so pretty here, you guys. Oh my goodness, love La Quinta. So I thought it would be fun to show you one of my favorite sections of this western area. Now you can see the fence here, and when I ride my bike, I ride on the dirt along this fence. But uh, just up between here and the mountain is the paved trail where most people are uh, walking up this side. It's just so beautiful here. I really wanted to show it to you. And then you can see down here, you're going towards the bottom of the cove. Uh, I'm on Montezuma, by the way, and I will come up on Avenida Bermudas the other way. So Montezuma's on the west side of the cove, and Adam, Avenida Bermudas is on the east side. 